Here we are looking at the Flex 7000 SXT control valve. I'm going to take a few minutes here to show you how to program it. First thing you need to do is set the clock to 12.01 p.m. so we can enter the master programming menu. The way you do that is you hold the up or the down arrow and the clock will start to move. We'll get that to 12.01 p.m. At which point we're going to press this button right here. Uh, this button has dual purpose. It's uh, both the regeneration button uh, when the softener is in its regular functioning mode, but during programming it acts as our enter button. So we're going to press 1 to enter that. Now the time is set at 12.01 p.m. and it flip-flops between the time and the number of gallons remaining uh, before the next regeneration. So we're going to press and hold the up and the down arrow at the same time and hold them down until we enter the programming mode. You know you're in the programming mode because you get this little pencil icon here. Uh, and you get a uh, code in the upper left hand corner. Uh, so the first thing we need to choose is the type of units we're using. We can choose gallons or liters. In our case we're going to choose gallons and press enter. Uh, next thing is the um, uh, downflow or upflow configuration. For the Flex 7000 SXT we're going to use the downflow DF2B settings. So you can scroll through here you see there's a bunch of different settings but we want the DF2B setting. We'll press enter. Next thing is the CT code. We want the CT code to read FD. And again, there's a few different options. We want FD. We'll press enter. The capacity. Uh, the capacity that we program in depends on the size of the water softener that you purchased. Um, in this case, we're going to assume that this is a one cubic foot unit. So we're going to program the capacity to the highest salt efficiency settings, which in this case is 20 times 1,000. Press enter. Hardness value. Uh, very important that you input the correct hardness value here. Uh, hardness is reported in a couple of different units, grains per gallon or parts per million. Parts per million can also be called milligrams per liter. Uh, this particular control valve wants the hardness in grains per gallon. If you have hardness in parts per million or milligrams per liter, you divide it by 17.1 and that gives you the grains per gallon. So we're going to assume a hardness of 15 grains per gallon uh, for the programming here and press enter. Uh, the um, reserve capacity setting we're going to use here is SF which is safety factor and then we're going to set the safety factor to 10 percent and press enter. Day override. Uh, day override tells the softener to regenerate uh, after a certain number of days has elapsed if it hasn't already regenerated uh, because of the amount of water that's been used. If you're on a well, uh, you don't want it to go any more than seven days between regenerations, so you can use a seven value. If you're on city water, you can use a value of ten. Uh, if the water that you've got has exceptionally high iron, then you don't want to go more than five days, so uh, if we assume very, very high iron, we'd set it to a five-day override. Um, otherwise, for well water, it would be seven, so that's what we'll use here. Regeneration time, you can choose any time you like uh, for the softener to regenerate. The Flex 7000 SXD in the way we're setting it up here is in the meter delayed configuration, so um, it will only regenerate at the time that you say on the day that it needs to regenerate. Uh, lots of people, 2 a.m. is the ideal time in the middle of the night, that's what this uh, control valve um, defaults to. Sometimes for families who are out of the house all day, uh, 2 p.m. isn't a bad time either. So uh, why don't we set this to 2 p.m. in this case. So I'll press and hold the down arrow and it'll scroll through the time here. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Six, five, four, three, and... Ah, uh, it's 2.20. I'm getting impatient. 2.20 is good, so this is going to regenerate at 2.20 in the afternoon, only when it needs to. Press enter. Uh, backwash 1 is uh, defaulted to 10 minutes, which is perfect. We'll press enter. The brine dry is 60 minutes, uh, which again is perfect. We'll press enter. Uh, backwash 2 is 5 minutes. Perfect. We'll press enter on that. Rapid rinse 10. Again, the default is the setting that we want, so 10 minutes we'll press enter on. 
the brine fill, uh, the brine fill is uh, the length of the brine fill time. That's how long the softener fills the brine tank with water. Is a function of again the size of softener. You've got the the number of cubic feet of resin that are inside of the tank. So there's a, a number of different settings that you can use here. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 15 minutes as our brine fill time. We'll press enter. Uh, lastly, uh, FM refers to the meter type. That's the meter uh, or the turbine that's measuring the water flow, and that is back uh, uh, on the rear side of the control valve. Uh, in this case, we want it to say T1.2. Yes, believe it or not, that's a lowercase t. number of different options, but uh, we want the T1.2. We press Enter, and that'll do it. Um, again, it will toggle between the number of gallons which are remaining before the next regeneration, in this case 1242, and then it should toggle back to the time. There we go, 12.06 p.m. Don't forget, uh, once you're done, you want to set the clock back to the real time of day. And we're uh, 1.30 in the afternoon, so we'll push this to 1.30. and press enter and we're done